Stephen, thank you. Developing now the search for the gunman who caused chaos and sparked fright at Six Flags Great America. Three people were hurt when the shots were fired right outside the theme park. CBS 2's Marissa Perlman has been talking with park goers who took cover. But first, Marissa, new information about the people who were shot. Yeah, that's right, Jim. We have just learned that the two people who were shot were released from the hospital late Sunday night. And just 24 hours, less than 24 hours after the shooting happened, that spot is back open to the public. The parking lot here packed with people. Charlie Donda, just 13 years old, was here with his two friends. He says their instincts kicked in that moment to help keep them safe. There's gunshots, we're hiding. Um, it's crazy. Tina Donda got that call from her son Charlie, a call she never thought she'd get. She dropped him off with two of his friends at Six Flags just hours before. I was walking out thinking something could happen. We just don't know. And she was right. Charlie and his friends were waiting in line for a ride and heard gunshots. But we didn't know if it was like in the park or where it was. The teens hopped a fence and hid until they got the all clear from police. Gurney police said a white sedan entered the parking lot and drove to the front entrance. More than one person got out of that car and started shooting, hitting at least two people before taking off. I was trying to stay as calm as I could. Gurney's mayor tells us the police department immediately reacted as if this was an active shooter inside the park, but later learned this was targeted and happened outside in the parking lot. Preventing uh, something that occurs out in the parking lot is extremely difficult. Uh, something in the park is different. I mean, they have uh, protocol on the front entrance that would prevent something from ha this happening. There are metal detectors as you enter the park, but the parking lot itself has less security. It's something former FBI agent Phil Andrew says could be re-examined in light of a shooting in this space with so many people crowding at one exit. There are still ways of controlling access of vehicles that have not fully identified themselves and their purpose of simply participating in the park, even in those after hours where you're no longer interested in just collecting, um, you know, fees for parking. Now, there is no suspect in custody. Police do believe, again, this was a targeted incident. If you have any information what happened here, you're asked to contact the Gurney Police Department or their anonymous tip line. We are live this evening in Gurney. Marissa Perlman, CBS 2 News. Marissa, thank you.